So both the separate storage they are using one for data, operational database and another for data warehouses. So which I have already told the first friend is a part of is actually maintaining the operational database and OL, OLTP sort of thing, online transaction processing. And the second friend of you are maintaining the data warehouse and OLAP, online analytical processing sort of transaction, which along with the database, data warehouses. Okay. So this is a data warehouse. So data warehouse is nothing but a storage or a storage of our data, which is coming from various multiple heterogeneous sites. Okay, it has several features, which is quite different from the features of the operational databases. But operational database, you already know the operational database, you have already learned in your previous semester, the RTBMS and RTBMS has some, uh, has generally follows some models. What are the models RTBMS follows? They follow the special model, which is most widely used model, that is ER model entity relationship model apart from this rtbms follows some strategy like normalization strategy to normalize the database or it follows some sort of transaction and concurrency management control system it follows a recovery management control system to handle the concurrency of the transaction or concurrent way of transaction it also follows atomic way of transaction so these all terms are familiar with you because you have learned already learned this subject dbm in the in the previous semester so all these terms are familiar with you Okay, these are the prerequisites to learn the data warehouses. Whereas data warehouses follows a multi-dimensional model. Instead of it follows the ER model, the entity relationship model, it is data warehouses follows a multi-dimensional model and online analytical processing on this dimensional model, multi-dimensional model. Okay, obviously you can understand multi-dimension means more than one dimension is working behind of it. What is multi-dimension? How the multi-dimensional model is looking like that I am going to discuss about it. Okay, so let's talk about the uh, just look at the ppt which i am sharing here so who is the father of data warehouse the father of data warehouse is w william h inmon okay here the only the surname has been given the full name of this guy is william h inmon i don't know the uh, full name of h okay for abbreviation of h william h inmon he is the father of data warehouse and he has given the first strategic training of the first strategic idea of first structural idea of architecture of the data warehouse okay he has introduced introduced for the construction idea now the co-creator of the corporate information history and he has 35 years of experience in database technology management and data warehouse. obviously he must have some experience of database management system that's why he is able to uh, create the design of a new kind of data warehouse, new kind of database that is called data warehouse. Okay. So uh, and this is these are the uh, the the history of regarding this uh, Inmon person okay, who actually developer or father of the data warehouses. Okay, he has published this kind of papers, this kind of magazines, this kind of books on on various uh, uh, fields of data warehouses or data uh, management system. Okay, database management system. Now, what is data warehouse? That is a very basic definition. What is data warehouse? Okay, what I already told a very simple definition is that data warehouse is nothing but a collection of data, a collection of data from multiple heterogeneous uh, data sources, from multiple heterogeneous data sources. Now, the job of the data warehouse is to integrate those data collecting from multiple heterogeneous data sources to make a decision support system. This DSS is actually a decision support system or making the strategic decision. Okay. Or making the strategic decision. So data warehouse is actually provides a architecture and tools, some, some set of architecture and tools for business executives to systematic organize, understand and use their data to make some strategic decision okay so it can take some strategic decisions data warehouse can take some with the help of data warehouses the business executives the skill members can take some strategic decision okay one one also import one also important difference between operational database and data warehouse that operational database can be handled by uh, 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 it professionals or it can be handled by uh, some 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 say um, it can be handled by IT professionals, or it can be handled by some, uh, some, uh, some, uh, some uh, uh, clerks, uh, or it can be handled uh, by, um, 
by some uh, some some kind of clients okay some kind of clients it can handle through, with the help of query processing transaction and query processing so several queries so it is a query based system general operational database is a query based system like rdbms we have already learned several queries in through the oracle or sql so this query can learn and this query based system a query driven system can be implemented within the uh, within the operational databases okay in the in the oltp system online transaction processing system so the clerks clients or it professional can handle those queries okay so mokhe shu shikhte hobe query you have to learn the query and you can apply the query to access the databases okay rdbms or your operational databases but to handle the data warehouse you require some expert skill members okay some expert skill members to handle the data warehouse you require some extra skill members skill members like some knowledge workers you require you require some in, uh, managers or business executives or you can say some data analyst okay some data analyst you require to handle the data warehouses so they are very special in case of data warehouses so data warehouses does not handled by general it professionals okay operational database or oracle dbm is handled by general it professionals but data warehouse will be handled by some skill members okay like edge workers or or managers or executives or data analyst okay so this is the this is the second this, this is the major difference between data warehouse and your operational database system so so that is a very bookish definition of a data warehouse so definition are several kinds of definition is, is i have already discussed about data warehouse only three different definition i have discussed the first definition is that data warehouse is a collection of integrated database designed to support decision support system dss okay second definition i told that data warehouse system provides architecture and tools to the business executive to systematically uh, understand organize and use their data to make some strategic decisions okay this is the second definition third definition which has been written here that it is a collection of integrated subject oriented non volatile and time invariant okay non volatile and time invariant each active feature mone rakhte hobe is very very important what are those four features of data warehouse each and every data warehouse must follow these four features and that four feature has been introduced by inmons at the first time in the year of 1992 what are those four features the first feature is data every each and every data warehouse must be subject oriented second feature is it should be integrated okay third the data warehouse should be time variant okay and the fourth feature is data warehouse should be non volatile in nature okay i am going to discuss each and every of these terms okay so first i am going to discuss about subject orientation okay what is subject orient okay what do you mean by subject orient so a data warehouse actually revolving around some major subjects it is revolving around some major subject what are those subjects data warehouse generally consist of some subjects like customer information supplier information product information and sales information okay so these are the subjects so it is actually evolving around those subjects of customers product sales supplier okay so rather than concentrating on day to day activity or transaction day to day transaction processing activities of an organization a data warehouse focuses on modeling and analysis of data for decision making process okay which i tried to tell you from the first of this lecture that the difference between operation database and data warehouse that operation database is generally focusing on day to day transaction activities whereas data warehouse is instead of focusing on day to day transaction activities it will focusing on the historical data to make a model and analysis of the data for making a strategic decision a good strategic decision okay so that's why data warehousing to handle data warehousing we require a skill labors okay like managers uh, executives data analysts some special kind of labor labor some special expertise on those fields whereas to handle a rdbms we require a normal it professionals or clients or 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 clerks or this sort of uh, low low skill members okay compared to them now um, this is a subject oriented now second property of data warehouse is integrated what do you mean by integration can anyone tell me what do you mean by integration what is integrated why data warehouse is integrated in feature any one of you can tell me what is integration so combining of all the data into a single place data means data means what kind of data like any records of particular like 
you know in certain descriptive fields and all look the thing is that data warehouse always correct collecting the data in various formats okay there should not be any unique format please remember while data warehousing is collecting data at the first time it can be collected the data from multiple heterogeneous resources heterogeneous means they should not be equal but similar heterogeneous means what homogeneous means similar all the resources are similar to each other heterogeneous means all the resources are dissimilar to each other that means they can collect data from an rdbms relational database system they can collect data from flat files they can collect data from raw files in a raw mode raw data files they can collect data in as a online transaction records so these are the various kinds so obviously all this data relational dbms relational data data or uh, flat files data or raw data or transaction data these data are in different different formats they are not similar with each other they are not same with each other they they are this totally dissimilar so collecting those data and integrated those data and convert the data from those heterogeneous format to us data warehouse specific format always convert kore kore na ekhon eta ke from those heterogeneous format to data warehouse specific format until you are not until the data warehouse will not getting converting it into a data warehouse specific format until that amount of time it cannot apply any sort of analysis or data mining process on that data do you understand what i am trying to say so there should be a data warehouse specific yes. format where it can be converted first and then you can apply the analysis on those data and ejami ejami je baba term ta use korchi analysis 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 can be done only with the help of data mining techniques understand so that's why after data warehousing in our syllabus the data mining techniques are coming can you make the relationship between them yes sir okay why we require yes, data sir. mining after data warehousing we can we can learn some other tech techniques instead of data mining but we require data mining because data warehouse warehousing is not completed until you are not until you are getting analyzing on those data because if if you are analyze the data properly then only you are able to make a strategic decision for the growth of your company okay or or or, or you can find some buying patterns or or the customer buying patterns or 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 some sort of decision support system to make the growth of your company and this analysis can be done with the help of various techniques and various tools of data mining and data mining mane tar bhitore ki ki pore jacche within data mining if you if you know the venn diagram jeta ami shuru thei bollam within data mining machine learning came within machine learning deep learning came so they are all are interrelated with each other with each other so data warehousing sir basically has, yes. analyzing mane ta hocche ki amra sob kora je different type of data as ache to oi gulo ke ekta format e niye eshe ota ke analyze kora seta i to naki exactly na format e niye eshe analyze kora na first we have to convert it into a specific format to make to apply the algorithms on those data oi algorithm gulo specific format ta na hole oi algorithm gulo cholbe na oi data r upor ki bollam bujhte parle acha bujhe ki je algorithm tum kintu sir tao tao analyzing er ekta to ekta mane different techniques hobe na mane oi je bolchi oi gulo to algorithm ei je supervised classification supervised algorithm unsupervised algorithm ei gulo to analysis algorithm these are all analysis algorithm jare idea ache those who have some idea about the supervised and unsupervised those are all analysis based algorithm by the help of those algorithm we can analyze sir so, tale main objective hocche amader algorithm gulo jante hobe tobei amra korte parbo ha tar age to tomake basic data ta ke kibhabe collect korcho kibhabe how how we are going to change the format of those raw data format to data warehouse specific format shegulo jante hobe and that's the first step pe ki amake amake data ta ke bujhte hobe ki tai to na ki exactly data ke collect korte hobe age data warehouse ta tomake jante hobe the architecture of the data warehouse the models that data warehouse are using ebon ki ki format of data warehouse the model, model analyzing the first step is that right analyzing na model architecture sambandhe jana ta tar pore data data analyzing ashbe after the data Achha, model ta jana tar pore analyzing exactly how we are going to store the data that is collecting from multiple heterogeneous resources into that specific model seta jante hobe shobar age acha 
जिनिंग Data cleaning. The before, I mean, before data integration in data warehousing, data cleaning also plays a very important role. Data cleaning means, if you data, thoro suppose I am giving an Excel sheet, okay? Shikana thoro in that Excel sheet there is a data of day-to-day -day transaction. Thoro last uh, one year at a data ase where each and every day how many products has been purchased by which customer and what is the selling uh, what is the selling item number of the product. what is the location from which branch the product has been purchased what is the amount of the product egulo somosto data gulo ache ebar ei data gulo to tomake keu kono clerk ba kono choto khato lok collect kore tomake debe data gulo jara tomar company employee ache tara tomake collect kore debe jara dhoro sell sell korche tara sathe sathe data ke update korte excel sheet e so sometimes it may be possible they did some mistake that they forget to update some data so to oi file er moddhe कोनो कोनो रो तुम ही देखते हो अबे सम रोज यू आर सीइंग दैट दोस रोज आर ब्लैंक और एम्प्टीज दैट दे सम सम हाउ द डेटा हैज बीन मिसिंग इन दैट फाइल देन हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू हैंडल दोस मिसिंग डेटा दैट इज कॉल्ड डेटा क्लीनिंग और डेटा प्री प्रोसेसिंग अप्रोच डेटा के प्री प्रोसेस करा बिफोर यू विल अप्लाई द डेटा एनालिसिस यू विल हैव टू डेटा मेक अ डेटा क्लीनिंग एंड डेटा प्री प्रोसेसिंग बुझदे वाले यस सर यस सर बुझदे डेटा সে ধরো এটা একটা अमाउंट কোন মিসিং আছে কোন ডেটাটা মিসিং আছে ধরো ধরো ডেটা শুধু নামটুকু আছে যে টিভিটা পারচেজ করা হয়েছে আর তোমার ডেটা মিসিং বলতে ধরো ওই টিভি अमाउंटটা নেই अमाउंटটা সামাও দেওয়া হয়নি যে হোয়াট ইজ দা अमाउंट অফ দ্যাট টিভি দেন হাউ উই ক্যান ফিল দ্যাট মিসিং ভ্যালু দ্যাট ইজ দা क्वेश्चन বিগ क्वेश्चन সো যেটা জেনারেল টেকনিক ইউ উইল হ্যাভ টু ডু দা এভারেজ অফ দা অর 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 ট্রাই টু ক্যালকুলেট দা মিন অফ দা লাস্ট ওয়ান ইয়ার ডেটা অফ দা টিভি अमाउंट সেই টিভি अमाउंटে ডেটা এভারেজ করে তুমি এভারেজটা পুশ করে দেবে ওই মিসিং ফিল্ডে বুঝতে পারলে তার মানে আগেকার ওই সেম মডেলে যে রকম টিভি এসেছিল ওর ডেটাগুলো মানে ওর প্রাইসিং এর একটা এস্টিমেট করে আমি ওটাকে পুট করব এস্টিমেট না এভারেজ করে পুট করব এস্টিমেট তুমি করতে পারবে না এস্টিমেট হলো তো গেসিং হয়ে যাচ্ছে আই এম নট টকিং অ্যাবাউট দা গেসিং আই এম টকিং অ্যাবাউট দা এভারেজ অর মিন মিন অফ দোজ ডেটা আচ্ছা ওকে মিনে যা আসবে সেই মিনিং মানে লাস্ট 5 ইয়ার্স এ যদি 20000 করে থাকে টিউটার প্রাইস তাহলে ওটা একটা মিন করে আমি পুট করে দেব একদম 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 মিন করে পুট করে এবারে ফিলআপ করতে হবে কারণ ইউ ক্যান নট अप्लाই দ্যাট অ্যানালাইসিস অ্যালগরিদম দ্যাট मींस ডেটা মাইনিং অ্যালগরিদম বা মেশিন লার্নিং অ্যালগরিদম অন এ ব্ল্যাঙ্ক ফিল্ড ব্ল্যাঙ্ক ফিল্ড এর উপর अप्लाई করতে পারবে না ইট উইল গিভ ইউ এন এরর ইফ ইফ ইট উইল ফাইন্ড এ ব্ল্যাঙ্ক ফিল্ড তাহলে তোমাকে কোন জিরো দিয়ে রিপ্লেস করে দিতে হবে এন্ড অবভিয়াসলি জিরো ইজ নট গিভ ইউ আ গুড রেজাল্ট So analysis on data is always depends on the quality of data that you are giving input into those algorithm. कि धान है data quality में input में input दी जो जो data structure टक किरो को माचे आधो इसे data टक ठीक टक आचे कीना data टक कतरा noise आचे data टक data टक properly formatting है आचे कीना data टक properly cleaning आचे कीना that you have to be make you have to ensure it before applying any sort of data analysis tools. Or data analysis algorithms like data mining algorithms or machine learning algorithms on your data warehouse databases. Am I clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So that is a multi-dimensional data warehouse database. Generally, contains a multi-dimensional data. So if we look at the picture, uh, this PPT. Uh, okay. After eight minutes, this session will also time out. So we will continue with the same link. Okay. A cluster got up there, say from eleven to one. Uh, 1255 right na 1250 sai to 11 to 1250 yes sir yes sir 1250 sir 55 55 okay sir you can use google yes 
গুগল মিট ইউ ক্যান ইউজ দ্য গুগল মিট ইনস্টেড অফ জুম হ্যাঁ গুগল মিট ইউজ করতে পারি কিন্তু অ্যাকচুয়ালি গুগল মিটে কি হবে বলতে তোমরা একসাথে দুজন আমাদের রেকর্ড অ্যাকচুয়ালি উই হ্যাভ টু রেকর্ড দিস লেকচার সো ইফ টু আওয়ার্স লেকচার উইল বি देयर দেন ইট উইল বি প্রবলেম টু ডাউনলোড এন্ড রেকর্ড দিস লেকচার সো আফটার ইচ এন্ড এভরি 40 মিনিটস देयर ইজ এ টাইম স্ল্যাপ সো 40 মিনিটস লেকচারস আর ইজিয়ার টু রেকর্ড ওকে আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড ওকে স্যার and that's why i'm using zoom okay okay so uh, this uh, look at the ppt so in this ppt it is in the where it is used where data warehousing is actually used it is used for evaluating future strategy which i already told that based on the previous historical data you can take a future strategy decision okay and uh, it needs a, a successful technician so what i have told a skill members is required okay you cannot uh, uh, only it professionals or clients or clerks kind of members are not able to handle the data warehouses some skill members some business executives some special kind of uh, data analysts are required to handle the data warehouses okay now uh, okay so two two features i have already told uh, one feature is subject oriented and the second feature is integrated now i am going to discuss about the third feature that is time variant which i already discussed okay what do you mean by time variant can anyone tell me can anyone guess me the features i have already discussed time variant the data warehouses must be time variant what do you mean by that any one of you can give me the answer i have already discussed it why data warehouse warehouse should be time variant whereas operational database uh, does not uh, have the features like time variant feature it can be time invariant why data warehouse is time variant tell me any one of you don't know give me a response if you don't know please give me a response sir uh, like uh, like you yes Uh, uh, sir, like before we discuss like the uh, like that we need to find a mean of like like estimating of a like sorry like, uh, like we have to suppose guess the price of any tv or nothing like uh, like that so i think we can do like that that is time varying like analyzing that data from previous no, years no 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 uh, yes yes but it is not correctly written actually time varying mean in data warehouse data are stored to provide information from a historical perspective that means last 5 yes, or 10 yes, years sir. of data but yes, your operational database is collecting data of day to day transaction not last 5 years or 10 years of data so every key structure in the data warehouse contains some 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 sort of element of time kono kono element of time kintu oi data warehouse er modhe thakbe okay so it will it will represents the last 5 to 10 years of past 5 to 10 years of time data the fourth feature look uh, in the in the ppt in this ppt all this ppt i have uploaded okay so in this ppt uh, you have found the first one is data warehouse is subject oriented why it is subject oriented which i already discussed second slide you will find out that data warehouse is integrated why it is integrated because it is collecting the sources from multiple uh, heterogeneous data sources okay and uh, when data is moved to a data warehouse it is converted converted means it is converted from a data specific format data warehouse specific format look before data integration data cleaning is also a very important process i already told data cleaning is also a very very important process that we have to conduct before data integration techniques okay together we actually apply data cleaning and data integration third one is time variant which i already told so this is the time variant that is the time horizon for the data warehouse is significantly longer than that of operations is obviously the operation the operation system maximum dealing with uh, five uh, uh, last four days five days or one week data day to day activities or transaction data whereas data warehouse dealing with last five years 10 years of data okay historical perspective the last one is data warehouse is a non volatile in nature this also i discussed while i have given the definition of data warehouse and the difference between the data warehouse and operation database which i which i told that data warehouse is always a physically separate store of data transformed from the application data found in the operation environment okay it is always maintain a physics physically separate store so due to this physical separation a data warehouse does not require any transaction processing or or any sort of recovery management system, technique or any sort of concurrency control mechanism okay 
मैनेजमेंट स्कीम two transaction should should not be inconsistency of data okay it should be consistent so this kind of situation is not arising in data warehousing because data warehousing using a physically separate store it is not connected with the data uh, operational database store operational database store is different data warehouse store is different okay so that's why in data warehousing store it does not require any sort of transaction processing management or any sort of recovery management scheme or any sort of concurrency control management scheme Okay, it usually requires only two operations in data warehouse. One is initial loading of data, another one is accessing of data. Only these two operation data warehouse is required. Look, the initial loading of data and accessing of data. Only these two operation it requires, and no other operation it requires. Okay, so these are the four important features of data warehouse. So the, your data warehouse uh, definition, the actual definition of data warehouse, which has been given by William H Inman has been written in this line that a data warehouse is a subject oriented integrated time variant and non volatile collection of data in support of management decision making process okay so these are the various definition of data warehouse and its features if anyone has any confusion any doubt you can ask me we have one minute in this session so i am here to clear in your doubt Any doubt till now? You can ask me. No sir. No doubt. Sure. Okay. Let me uh, tell you that operational database generally using a query-driven approach that we have already used in Oracle or SQL. The query-driven approach. What is query-driven approach in general scenario? The query-driven approach means. Uh, when a query uh, suppose a query is posted by a client in his client side and a metadata dictionary is used to translate the query okay and uh, to translate the query which is appropriate for individual heterogeneous sites okay and these queries are then mapped and sent to the local query processor so each and every uh, each and individual heterogeneous site has its local query processor so in that local query processor the query will be mapped and trans and transport okay and when the results has been returned from different query local query processor of individual size and those queries are integrated to 